Oh, hello, David. Oh, hello, TJ. How are you today? Hey. <laughs> Sassy. I am uh, in that. I, I two feelings simultaneously, sweet Davide. One, I have reached that fugue state where nothing matters during finals week. So I am even more unpredictable than usual. I'm the loose cannon. Okay. Uh, and the other one is I am slightly depressy because this is number 42, our last one. I of know. Things. Yeah. You know what? I reached both of those around the age of 27. So I have been riding that wave for a while. Slightly yeah. depressed fugue state. Is, I was going to say, I was going to say. That's, that's uh, where my circles overlap. <laughs> I was like, unhinged yet a little sad. Every cancer I've ever met. Good job, baby. How dare you? How dare You're you welcome. bring astrology into my face? Don't you I dare. Mean, uh, it's fair. We, we have, have a hello. guest. You have yeah. to behave. We have a guest. First off, that's never stopped us before. But um, let's just get this started. I am TJ Tally. You. I am Dave Rapp. And we are. The once and future Brohawks. Oh, God damn, Phil nice. Howard, ladies nice. and gentlemen, everybody. That's how you come into this show. You know what? That's 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 a that's an audition for the third hawk right there. Ca -ca. <laughs> um, I was this treat. close to putting my hair up. Phil's got the locks. Phil could do he it. Do. Phil you could know, do it. Yeah, it's, he chooses not to, which is you know, <laughs> I mean, most that's the power do. move. Those people seem sad. Who would Look choose to be us? Nobody. I mean, I think, no. Yeah, you're right. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right, you so do have a certain amount of street cred in the circles that we run in, though. There's there's a lot of people that know you as the Brohawks, and I think there's a lot of envy there, whether it's spoken or unspoken. <laughs> I love it. I, it, you know, there's this is why we brought you on. He's just yeah. the great intro. Man. He butters yeah. us up. That's it. Nice it's to look all, at. Not gonna lie. You know what? As, <laughs> I love. I love the bisexual homoerotic tone that this has already taken through no fault of my own, and this is excellent. I did uh, shave uh, for this. Oh, so did I. You you're, can't tell. You're, <laughs> I. I. I'm not even gonna touch that one. Title of my sex tape. I. That's uh, not true. Oh, that's I, so not true. I shaved this part, so there's that. There um, you go. Exactly. All right. I'm going to redirect, strangely, um, and more importantly, Sweet Phil, for our viewer, um, uh, if you would ever so lovely, just talk a little about uh, your Geo Party experience. What was that first time on Jeopardy like, and how's this whole game been for you? Well, um, thank you for asking. It's been a long time, but it's something that uh, it's infused most parts of my life since. Uh, if people are always struggling People are struggling what to get me for birthdays and Christmas. They think something Jeopardy related. I have socks. I have a tie. I have T-shirts and all sorts of good stuff. Um, all stemming from uh, a three days on the show uh, back in 2020. I filmed in the middle of COVID right after they started taping again. And it was, it was the same experience that all of us went through where we were separated on the stage. Other guests have talked about this at length. I know you guys have discussed it before. Um, Suffice to say, I had a great run. I met a lot of good people then, but we were missing the the personal connections that we developed this time around. Um, I had I had a good run at the end of the day, right after lunch. Um, the previous champion, Mason Maggio, fell victim to the Thursday curse. Um, oh, you were on with Mason? I was. He was oh, uh, wow. the two day champ right before me, and then. Uh, he and I ate lunch together and we talked Dungeons and Dragons of all things. He was oh. just getting started in the hobby. And oh. so um, I was sharing him stories of my campaigns and everything. And then after that, they pulled our names out of the hat and, oh, uh, well, here we are go. You a, are you a barbarian or a paladin? I was looking to ask, race and class. You got to tell us, what are your yeah. race and your class? I'm currently playing in an online play-by-post game right now where I am a shadow elf warlock oh. sorcerer. Oh, okay. I like this. So it's right. it's a little against type for me. I don't normally do spellcasters, but uh, I'm playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 lately, too. And mm -hmm. in a multiplayer game I've got with some friends, I'm the party paladin and resident tank. Oh, so. nice. What's your, I'm a yeah, half-orc you... paladin, and that's that's my job, too. I was going to say, both of you strike me as sort of tank-esque people, right? Like, that's like <laughs> sort of when you, when you play, right? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's am... because I don't have... Uh, I don't have good tactics. I like to run forward and hit things, which is why when I played 40K, I played orcs. So, mm -hmm. yep, yep. My my default is always it almost always is a half elf, half elf sorcerer. 
That is, I love, I love it. I love a ranged spell cast. I love a lot of uh, snark. Pretty great. I was a halfling <laughs> barbarian on a game with my daughter. That's amazing. <laughs> that would be so much fun to see. It was, the, it was a lot of fun. Anyway, <laughs> nerding out. So we've all determined that we are huge nerds. So yeah. there is that. Yeah. <laughs> and I think there's another D and D campaign brewing. Yeah. I'm, oh. here, for, I'm here for it. Yeah. I mean, uh, I have to ask, I'm sorry to interrupt you. If you have more, please continue. No, but no. I also like, because Mason was in our group. Did you guys talk when you saw each other? Did you keep in touch afterwards? What was, what was it like seeing Mason again? <clears throat> Mason who's in our group chat and never, never in, engages. Is the, that still, well, still he's and Mason very busy. were the same. We did it. We at first were like, "Why did they both hate us?" And then we realized that's that right. Not that well, I wasn't in it first. Yeah, and we that's learned this afterwards. Yeah. One of the main uh, issues that I had uh, with this was they offered us the chance to stay at a hotel, but what with job commitments and stuff at, at home, just managing two gremlins around the house, I needed to be home, so I didn't stay at the hotel, which means I missed out on triangles. I missed out on the initial. Uh, uh, all of the getting to know you stuff that happened after hours on day two and day three. So it took until the episodes aired for Yoshi Hill. Bless her to, you know, all day long. Um, she says, Hey, we've got a WhatsApp chat and threw me in. And the very first day I was like, what have I gotten into? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but everybody yeah. there is fantastic. Everybody there is supportive and wonderful and delightful and churlish and disrespectful at the same right. time. Um, but yeah, with that day, because I was driving down from Santa Clarita, I was uh, I was late. I showed up. We were supposed to be there at, I don't know seven o'clock, and I showed up at about seven o one. Parked the car. I saw all of you walking in, but I had to go through security. Get, you know, everything checked while I'm standing there waiting my turn up walks Mason. And I know you, I know you. And we hit it off. Like we'd been best friends for the last three years and nothing, oh, never missed nice. a beat. So That's he awesome. is, he is top notch people. Oh. If quiet in the chat. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have no, we have no opinion Mason because you hate us. So that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I think we he's want just busy to be in our group. Uh, yeah. That's great. That's great. Uh, it does think that we didn't get after our time with you, but yeah, because uh, you're pretty lovely. I mean, <laughs> you asked what you asked what you've gotten into. It seems like your comfort zone because you have been a beast in our in our group chat. Yeah, you quickly in the best quickly possible made way. Yourself, you made yourself at home very quickly. You're, well, thank you very much. Yeah, you guys make it easy. It's it's a lot of fun <laughs> interacting with all of you and uh, playing off the inside jokes. And uh, I can't wait to see you all on Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Nice. All right. Should we, Should we some, watch some Geopark? I mean, it's the this is the last episode of the Jeopardy Champions Wildcard Tournament. It's true for season thirty-seven, thirty-eight. <laughs> right. Uh, but like you know, I wouldn't know you guys without this tournament, and it's been a focal point of our lives since I mean, well, since I got to call in August. August, but since yeah. we recorded in September, and this is the last day. It's this true. Is a bummer. You would have just been a guy who I snarkily knew through the internet with a vague sense of uh, failure around myself. So that's that's nice, yeah. And instead, you actually and now I have been talk. able to calcify that sense of failure. It's right. And give it a name, and you can look at my face. I do, and I'm like that name is called Dave Rath. That sense of failure, yes. And my mother thinks that you're delightful, so that's even better. Yeah. I mean, we are twins. We were born at the same time, exactly the same age. It's weird. And we're starting the show. <laughs> we're just going to go. We're just... From the Alex from X stage at Tony's I can't Virginia. wait to do a new podcast with Phil. <laughs> Time and place, I'm there. Again, barring flood, fire, locusts, etc. The deciding game. Here oh. are our three finalists. Yesterday our was such a good game. From it was a great game. Gary Hollis. With Young Shang Yu and with Young Shang Day. And coming in at the end. Thousand dollars. A marine officer currently serving in Stuttgart, Germany. Give us a smile. Oh, there it is. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Total seventeen thousand. This guy is gonna get man mail. And a deputy public defender. <laughs> yeah. From Lafayette, Louisiana. I didn't write anything. Wong. 
who won $8,000 on Friday. I love that. And now, gun sharing is just such a sweetie. And he hugs everyone. And I like that he has different bow ties for oh, every yeah, day. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. It's Tyler that did the Jeopardy gun Champions thing. Wild yeah. Card Competition. With Game everybody. Two of I totally the forgot. On Friday, it was Captain Tyler Vandenberg who came up with the only correct response in Final Jeopardy to pull into the lead. But remember, this is a two-game total point affair. And we have seen on more than one occasion that having the lead we, at the end we, of Game 1 does about, not necessarily uh, uh, indicate who will come out ahead in the end. We will That's now move the scores you have on Friday, and we'll be adding them back at the end of the show to whatever you accumulate. <laughs> I love, I love the our wrapping. I just didn't think I wanted to see it on into the game. Torso. Here are your Ooh. Jeopardy round categories. We begin with here Tis comes the season. Fun. Then we yeah. have some colorful sports. There was a Beatles reference in Dave, just for you. Oh, Dave, please. I woke up. I woke up yesterday with Beatles song in my head, and I was like, I'm not going to this be a bad day abbreviation again. I did it originally. I had our leader in game one. I had. Play settings for 400, you, please. The Crucible, 1692, in this Massachusetts city. Salem. Salem. This is Salem? <laughs> right. Uh, play settings for 800. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Within and around the action of this other oh, play. My head. Yeah. Hi, Hamlet. That's right. Play settings for 1,000, please. The Keller's home in Tuscumbia, Alabama. This drama. Nice. Young Shin? Mm. What is the miracle worker? That's right. Play settings for 600. Mm. Water, New Corners, New Hampshire, from 1901 <laughs> to 1913. This drama. Young Shin. What is our town? Correct. P in fashion for oh, we're get, a thousand. We're getting self-correcting. Latin Young word for again. sun this is and this word for a stylish <laughs> item that protects you from the rain as well as the sun. Parasol. Parasol. Good for a thousand. Uh, P in fashion for 800, please. P, this David. type of P. folkloric blouse is usually white with puffed sleeves and Peasant? has a square embroidered yeah. neckline. Well, Young Shin. Is a peasant blouse? That's right. Here comes the sun for 800. I know, fa I did a fashion. From the Greek for light. <laughs> you did, this, this is a layer love... of the sun, some 300 miles thick. Young Shin. What is the photosphere? Yes, it is. Here comes the sun for 600. H is for this model of our solar system that puts the sun in the middle. Heliocentric. 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 <laughs> right. There's sun Jerry. for 1,000. The sun is a G25 star, meaning it's of the second hottest in the G class, and the five refers to its being in this sequence. Gary. Midlife. The main sequence? That's correct. Uh, colorful I like sports the idea of being a midlife sequence. I, uh, <laughs> award to the Canadian Football League champion was named for a Governor the General Cup. of Canada. Tyler, Canada. was the Grey Cup. No. Right. You're right. Colorful sports for a thousand, please. This pro Great. hockey Color. team took their name Color. from the 1914 hit heard here. The Blues. Young Shin. Were the St. Louis Blues? Right. Uh, not chess again for 600. I, I Instead of standard Spongebob style pieces, <laughs> not bishops, but these pieces are topped with crosses. Gary? What are keys? Yes. Postal oh. abbreviation combos for 400. Delaware plus Missouri. Carlos is screaming for that one. Something you might yeah. give to a record producer. Demo. Right? What is a demo? Yes. Postal abbreviations 800. The answer there. Oh, here we go. There's the doble. Is Keep he going to be conservative? You're going to tie for a second, Gary. Oh, it's going to be no, he's not. 2600. Betting it all. Because well, remember, he only likes to wager 3,000. Combo. <laughs> Hawaii plus North Dakota equals this backward Find. word. Find. Come on, buddy. You know this. Find. On, what is hand? No. Oh, no. Hawaii being H-I, it is high. Oh. That drops you down to zero as we head into our first commercial break. Oh, we'll be back oh, with the rest of this time. Jeopardy! Champions wildcard oh. final right after this. That's tough going into a break like that. Hey, Gary gives himself back. Gary Hollis is back with us. We first he looks like the like professor's the tournament. People did. Gary, you've played he quite a few games with us. Are there people you would like to rest. thank along the way? Anybody you want to shout out? I do want to thank like my students. Appreciate that. So if Although, you're a teacher, course, Tyler's right you can try to give to your students. That makes a difference. Uh, in your that's school. the thing, it Tyler. Is, it's what gives you in, purpose and makes your life meaningful. I can't remember so, what the specific uniform students, for the Marines is, uh, what it's called, students. but your future students, you don't know who you are. It's thick, it's wool, you and you, you sort of. That's great, Gary. Tyler Vandenberg. It's it's its own shape. It doesn't allow for any deviation. Like yeah, absolutely can. Much um, like the military. I'm going to speak it directly to the camera <laughs> so uh, everybody knows it's personally for them. Oh, I, I uh, put the stressors parents, on my service uh, dress blues uh, jacket. I'll tell you that. Using me in a way that always encouraged my interests and let me know about all kinds of weird things to be on this stage. I want to thank all the teachers that I've had. Um, I want to thank my sister for always standing by me on these things. I want to thank my mentor, General Carter, who uh, 
kind of changed my life and my career in a way that I never could have imagined. Um, I want to thank my aunts and uncles who are all big fans of the show as well as my cousins. And I want to thank Africa Command for giving me the time off to come here. That's what you see right here on the chest, who I work for. And finally, I want to thank the Marine Corps uh, for letting me wear this uniform for the last five years. It's been the pride of my life. And uh, for raising me into, uh, for making me into the person that uh, you see here on this stage today. Thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Thank you for your Nicely done. Jin Wong, Deputy Public well Defender. Well. Same question. Yes. Uh, I would really like, I'd like to thank Tyler Terrence. We are child. <laughs> I'd also uh, like to thank Africa. And my teachers in high school that really gave me that love of learning. Mr. Oteza, Colonel Rising, Mr. Davis, Coach Vice. Colonel Rising. Finally, my know, awesome right? husband, Chris. As you may have seen, I'm an acquired taste. I managed to find a person that not only tolerates me, but loves me, and he Come is on, taking gang. care of our dogs right now while I humiliate myself on national TV. And by taking care of the dogs, he no, went to San Diego no, Jake, for work you were in and hired a dog sitter. You have not humiliated <laughs> yourself you're not humiliating at all. He's a real hero, right? I mean, Tyler got to you're thank the general, but your husband hired a dog sitter, so he did. Yeah. a lot of, lot of- And let us never forget, bow ties are cool. That was one of my favorite moments of the tournament. That was <laughs> Well great. done. Let's get back into the game. Gary, you've got I brought four of mine. I brought four. I would have had a different bow tie one. Postal abbreviation combos for 600. Georgia plus Mississippi equals these body parts. Slang grandpa might use. Gams. Gams. Or gams. Right. <laughs> Postal abbreviation combos for 1,000. The Pelican State plus the Pine Tree State equals this word for someone with lame. a leg. <laughs> Gary. What is lame? Louisiana and Maine. Right. Not chess again for 800. White moves first and looks to increase his advantage. Black Sounds replies right. and seeks to gain this, part of Wyoming's state nickname. Sovereign. What is equality? Right. Momentum. Uh, <laughs> being fast well, for 600. J. Crew offers this classic skirt in a style appropriately Pencil. called number two. I did that in the fashion. You did a fashion. <laughs> you did a fashion. 400. You get a jewel shell. This style leather is traditionally processed on patent. the grain patent. side and coated with paint and linseed oil. She's getting Tyler? all of her patent today. Right. Uh, here comes the sun for 400, please. We're celebrating Chronicles your peace. energized then. by the sun's heat, escape <laughs> from the corona and create this, not literally a breeze. Tyler? What is the solar, solar wind? wind? That's right. Solar wind. Uh, here comes the sun for 200, please. Of next Tuesday, in 10 million years, or in 5 billion years, it's when the sun is scheduled to become a red giant. 5 billion. Gary. 5 billion. Is 5 billion years? Correct. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> Colorful sports for 600. Hard Rock Stadium in Florida is home to the Miami Dolphins and this college bowl game. Gary? The Orange the Bowl. The Orange Bowl. Yes. Not chess again for a thousand. Why do I know that? It's former U.S. women's champion. You are, are, you, are you not a sports guy? Not a sports guy at all. 1927 Capablanca Aljekin World Championship match began with this opening that was in the news again 93 years later thanks to the fictional Beth Harmon. Young ship. Queen's Gambit. What is the Queen's Gambit? Good for a thousand. Uh, not chess again for 400. If one of these moves two squares rather than one, it may be captured en passant in passing. Pawn. It's a pawn. Right. Colorful, spo colorful sports for 400. I love this game. The Chicago team that threw the 1919 that. World Energy. Series. Tyler. We're the Black, Black Sox. Sox. You're right. Also, uh, it makes me happy to also see 200. another anxious queer, like specifically for anxious queer Jeopardy play. Right. I can't. Oh, I got a lot. That's, I feel seen. Yes. Play settings for 200. Yes. Play settings for 200. The musical Evita set in this country. Argentina. Okay. What is Argentina? Yes, it was. Uh, P in fashion for 200. It's the sprightly name for a very short hairstyle that's worn close to the Holy head. Holy cow, I think I knew you all of the fashions. Fashion. You ran all the P fashion. The pixie. Right. Crazy. Postal abbreviation combos 200. Colorado plus Nebraska equals this geometric figure. Cone. 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 They were cones. Yes. Bring it. <laughs> the last clue in colorful sports. The area there was con The average size on the Pro Tours is about 6,000 square feet. Green. What is a green? Correct. Taking you to $2,400, Gary. $6,000 off the leader, and you will select first in double jeopardy. We'll be That's back the with problem that when we go right bottom. Uh, we kind of forget the obvious clue. Yeah. Young Shin's out in front. The first right, okay. uh, This is double jeopardy. Here are the categories, I, like, players. We have U.S. First of, uh, Dance Revolution, of Fuzzies asking about Pancho lunch. Village, <laughs> on the podcast. And odds and is, I, I want to know how, how nervous in you are. Face, are you how do you and, feel well, when you're up there at the podium? The same. Are you cool? Are you chill? Yeah, where do we begin? Uh, uh, well, there's a, uh, a level of anxiety that just kind of simmers of around ladies, here or and then slowly rises as I get farther down the board. Is a madam and a madam? <laughs> okay. No. Good answer. 
Tyler or Gary? Tyler. And what's your, what's your buzz? Misses? How do you right. buzz? Misses. Poncho I do the two-hand approach with a thumb on it, and I hide it right around my navel. Drive your Dodge SUV to this Mexican state of the same name. Durango. Or is Durango? Yes. Uh, Pancho Village for twelve hundred, please. Yes, we always After want to know about people's level of anxiety. Pancho Villa used this Texas city for two hundred thousand on the Rio Grande as a supply center. <laughs> what is the, correct? You brought to it a uh, kind of a U.S. first an exuberant water. energy. Yeah, Dave yeah. had the, the touch, you know, the the thumb. Yeah. You know, and it worked. Um, with me, my personality just completely subsumed because I was make no money, so you know, deer in headlights. Let's see if you're. Oh, he just pulled a date. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, buddy. The first woman mayor of a major U.S. city was Bertha Landis in Seattle. Soon after came Dorothy Lee in this city, 172 Portland. miles south. Right. Got it. Portland. Who? What is uh, Portland? Portland, Oregon is exactly right. Yes. Nice. Your client was correct. Oh, good move by Young Shen. Uh, Dance Revolution for 1600. In 1975, Van McCoy had everyone lined up at the disco to do this dance. The Shuffle. Hustle. What is the hustle? Correct. Hustle. Dance ah. Revolution for 1200. For years, party goers I mean, have been flapping their wings doing this dance. Not to be confused <laughs> with the funky version. Young Shen. What is the chicken dance? Yes. Uh, odds it ends for 1600. Irish composer John Field is considered the originator of these romantic compositions, evocative of night. Gary. Nocturnes? Or nocturnes? That's right. Uh, I was Odds like, ends for <laughs> This dried seaweed that's sold in sheets can go on the Naughty. inside or the outside of your sushi. Naughty. Uh, There's Nori. That's right. Poncho Village for 1600, please. This agrarian that's a man that served in Okinawa. With Pancho Villa is considered a Mexican national hero. Tyler. It was Emiliano Zapata. That's right. Pancho Village for 2000, please. This oh. Devil's Dictionary author wow. disappeared after going to Mexico. Oh, Ambrose Pierce. To write about Pancho Villa. Gary. Who is Ambrose Pierce? You had 2000. I didn't know uh, they did disappear. I for 2000. Yeah, that's one of the things that stuck with me. The in, family in resemblance school. between Ooh, George, George the Fifth, Fifth of England on the right II. and this first cousin on the left. Yeah. Who is Wilhelm the second? Of Russia, correct. Uh, in your face for 1200. This part of your face can also mean impudence. The barefoot boy had one of cheek. tan. Gary. What is cheek? Cheek of tan, yes. Well done. Uh, in your face for 1600. Your ciliary processes are in these. Your throat? Lungs. Lungs. They're in your eye. Gary? In your face for 2000. It's that indentation in the middle of your upper lip, just below your nose. Filtrum. Filtrum. Is it Kip yeah. Bill? Yes, or more technically, the filtrum. Uh, U.S. first it. for <laughs> the Downing Urn was the first memorial to be placed in this capital area that now has many. Tyler. It was the National Mall? Right. Uh, U.S. first for 2,000, please. The first nuclear explosion was set off at the New Mexico site with this religious name, a.k.a. Jornada del Muerto. Mm. Uh, that was the Trinity site. I, I thought it was uh, Trinity, but then when they said Ronaldo de Muerto, I was like, I got in 1929, so that's like the death the oven. The, first the, the death Spanish part is what ruined it for me. And I was like, I think it's Trinity. Trinity. Senior, yeah. The first host of the ceremony. Gary. Who is Douglas Fairbanks? Yes. Dance Revolution for 2000. In the early 90s, it was billed as Brazil's <laughs> forbidden <laughs> dance. Lombada. Lombada. That, 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 the Lombada. Correct Lombada. for 2000. I just saw about the years and we all thought, who's a Lombada? Australia also has a region called this. But theirs doesn't include Vermont and Connecticut. New England. Mention? What is New England? Yes. Uh, well, they sound the same for 1600. A legal claim, or with little adipose tissue. Lean. What is lean? Nobody's oh, oh, in. You got to ring in, bud. Young Shin. What is lean? I got a little easier. Yes, that's Sorry. Uh, well, they sound the same for 2000. The answer there? Gary oh, 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 here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's us, because Gary could have gotten it had he remembered to buzz this in. Is, this is the 10,000 right here. Going to need 10, a 10,000. Oh, 10,000. All right. Here's your clue in, well, they sound the same. Any channel to walk down, or Guernsey in the English channel. Aisle. Come on. What is an aisle? They are both aisles. That's correct. Wow. You added well 10, done. 000. Wow. Uh, well, they sound the same for 1,200. An emotional state, or what the cow did. Mood. Gary. What is mood? Yes. I got the 200 I... and 400 ones. I'm good on those. The Bermudian <laughs> border defines these. Gary. What are your lips? Yes. Dance oh, wow. Revolution 800. 
Come on, baby, let's do this dance, performed by Tommy Decker on American Bandstand in 1960. Tyler? Was the twist? Yes. U.S. first for 400, please. The first successful nationally distributed low-calorie beer was light. Michelob brand. Tyler right. Miller. Right. Dance Revolution uh, for 400, please. Uh, yeah. Call it the backslide, or call it this. Michael Jackson's signature smooth move of the 80s. Who calls it the Gary? backslide? What is the moonwalk? Right. Christian Michigan. Hunter Village 400. <laughs> Before heading U.S. forces in France in World War I, this general led general, a punitive Jack raid into Pershing. Mexico in pursuit right of French right We're all Gary. here. Who is Pershing? You don't have yes. to be angry. First off, I don't know if you know this. I must always be angry. Together, they are the type oh. of dolls seen here. Matryoshka. Right. Uh, interface. Matryoshkas. Well, they sound the same for 400. To be sick or a foamy beverage. Gary? Ale. What is that? ale? That's right. I you couldn't get it. In I your was face, like... It's the eight-letter top part of your face, from your eyebrows to your hairline. Forehead. Tyler. What is the forehead? It's just the forehead. Yes, head, that's right. Today you're in third with <laughs> I would, I would never say that to your face, Let's David. remind you what our <laughs> finalists earned in Friday's game. Oh, holy right. wow. Okay. Time for final okay. Jeopardy, gentlemen. Here's the category you'll be dealing with. It's still close, National though. National Monument. I can't. It's not we'll a runaway for Young Shen. Right after this. I can't math that quick. I'm not sure what to I know, do right? in the situation. So, Tyler got basically 28, and Young Shen got 39. This champion so, wildcard competition will end with this it, final it, Jeopardy it really will come down to who gets National this right. National Monuments. So. And this yeah. Group, designated in 2016, a New York City monument named for this place of business includes nearby Christopher Park. 30 seconds, gentlemen. Good luck. Oh, we forgot to guess. <laughs> oh, we sure did. We sure did. I have a guess, but I don't know what it's called. Like, I'm familiar with it, but not enough to answer. Same. I don't have it. I got nothing. Captain Tyler Vandenberg had 11,400 coming into final. What was your response? What is the World Trade Center Memorial? I'm afraid that's not correct. You wagered everything. That'll drop you down to zero oh. today. But we're going to add back the 17,600 so well, Friday. Sir. You'll finish with that score. You really did. Gary Hollis, yeah. you were in second place with 14,800. What did you come up with? What is the New York Stock Exchange? That's also incorrect. What was the wager? 8,300, dropping you down to 6,500 today. We'll add back your 6,000 from Friday. You're at 12,000. Oh, Tyler still gets second. That brings us to Youngshin Wong, who found both daily doubles in that second round to pull ahead. What did you come up with? What I is get that. Stonewall? Yay! That is correct. <laughs> the Stonewall Inn is on Christopher Street. Yay! Yeah, I literally went Christopher Street. Street. Pride movement. And what, what did so you write under Stonewall? Uh, ah! <laughs> You did not risk anything, but you didn't have to. 33,800, wow. when we add back your 8,000 from Friday, gives you 41,000. Well right done. Look, look at that. Look at how excited he oh, is. Oh, look at that hug. Congratulations. Oh. You did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Captain Denberg, you win $50,000 oh, for second place. Gary, $25,000 for third. That was joy. That was a true joy. And we'll how do we not fucking love Young Chang? Wow, that was so good. That was it was. Sweet. Good. The I'm, the two I'm daily so doubles. Oh yeah. The heavy heavy bids on those sets. He played well. Yeah. yeah he did. He was expert game. Like the the, I don't know if it's nerve or uh, I don't know. It's just the ability to not wager anything on that. <laughs> and, and just kind of hope that everybody misses it, or like, man, that's a tactic that had to be that had to be nerve wracking. Well, right? yeah, because if Tyler had bet everything and gotten it right, then he would have been sitting at what twenty two plus. Uh, he would have been at thirty seven. So yeah. yeah, he he still had an advantage by betting nothing. Uh, yeah. I guess so, huh? But uh, but he had yeah, to get the Tyler. Like, Tyler, if Tyler had gotten it all right and gone all in. Then it would have been barely, would have been, yeah, 22 and 17, 39. He would have barely, it would have been real close. Yeah. Right, because the 8,000 from the day before and then the 33, that $10,000 daily double that he got the second time, that I think was the, the clutch moment for him.
Yeah. Putting them up to 33. Oh, uh, that, that's I anxiety's rising. I, I feel <laughs> I like know, right? <laughs> brought right back to it. Right? Uh that was good. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen any of the comments on your YouTube channel uh from this stuff, but people are writing that they'd like you to continue in some fashion, whether it's uh, whether you you pause and come back for the 39 wild cards or whether you just come back during the tournament of champions or whether it's just, I don't know, maybe as the clue crew. <laughs> <laughs> what? But, I, Phil, this, you're really catching us. This is coming out of left field right now. You would, you think the Brohawks would make a good clue crew? We would. I, huh? I think you guys would make a fantastic clue crew. And uh, you bring uh, energy, you bring excitement, you bring... I mean, look at that oh, face. Look at look that, at that face. face. <laughs> <laughs> the face that launched a thousand clues. There you go. <laughs> it's true. As the as the Jimmy of the group, I agree. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, oh my God. Well, we got we gotta we gotta give the people what they want. So we gotta think about what we're gonna do. Um, yes. This is. I mean, we are gonna take a break for Christmas time. We are for the Lord uh, and Kwanzaa. Yes. <laughs> All those things. So, two of our favorite things. Um, <laughs> I do love that the minute I saw the clue, I was like, Christopher, that's got to be Christopher Street. It's not going to be a big gay question. Then I was like, is Young Shing going to be the only one that's going to get the gay? <laughs> and then I was like, okay, this is amazing. You are um, correct. I, you know, that's all. Uh, this has been so much fun. Phil, we're also so thrilled that we got to have you as our final person because we were so excited to have you on. Um, Thank you very much for having me. It was a pleasure to be here. Oh my God! This is life changing I mean, yes. and weird and strange. This whole wild card champions nonsense fiesta, and we're so glad that you got to be on this with us. I, it's been a. I can't believe, David, we've done forty two of these. We have, we have. Yeah. And the exciting thing is, I, I we should say that our final person for this tournament, because you know, like you said, pe maybe people want us back. Maybe we want to keep going. We have a ton of other fantastic diamond friends that we would love to have on the show. Absolutely. And and like I'm, I'm sure you guys are all a similar case to me. I've gotten to be uh, social media friends with a lot more contestants, uh, uh, champions. Uh, so it'd be nice to have some of those people on. It would be a delight. So we will keep doing this if you guys want us to keep doing it. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your enemies, and uh, let us know. And we will happily I do that. So like, subscribe, tell your mom. And uh, tell people to leave notes in the comments about what you think we should do once we come back from uh, a sanity break. There you go. Yes. And since it's our last one, happy holidays to everyone, whatever yes. you're celebrating. Uh, yes. Regardless of any uh, religious uh, things, we are en ending the year 2023. Um, so I hope it's been a good year for you and that 2024 is wonderful for everyone. Yes. We were not expecting at the end of 2022 to have been brought back. So one of the things to remember is that there's you never know what sort of amazing world changing things are right around the corner. And I would I not have guessed that at the end of 2023, I would have a ton of friends that are Jeopardy champions and have, have a show that I've been doing. It's ridiculous. Yes. That's true. Yeah. What a what a damn treat and a delight. So right. thank you all. And as we know, the only person worth rooting for is Emily Sands and the Diamonds. Although, I mean, the other three are pretty great. I mean, we do love we do love Nick Cascone. I mean, we absolutely <laughs> love Nick Cascone, especially because you're going to run into him at the grocery store this week, probably. <laughs> I mean, and... I, I went to uh, I went to Gelson's last night and was worried I was going to run into him. That's fair. <laughs> and I just want to give I just want to give Young Chen a big gay high five and be like, "Well done, baby. Come on, both times." So yeah, yeah. And you guys, I'm going to see you on Thursday. We'll see you both. Yeah. Looking oh, forward yeah. to it. It'll be fun. It'll be so good. So. All, All right. right. Excited for some triangles of liquor. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 B